Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to go over how to record credit card expenses in QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. Now in the QuickBooks desktop version, um, it is clear on how to enter credit card transactions. You go into banking and you go into enter credit card charges and you enter the information. We have the payee, we have the date, the amount, and um, the account that it goes to, or if your job costing, which item it goes to. You can also do a refund or credit through this screen. Another way to enter credit card charges in the QuickBooks desktop is to do it through the chart of accounts. If you go into the register of the credit card, you can add it here. So you can add the payee, you can enter the amount and the account, and you can enter a memo and just hit record and it's going to already be in the register. Now in QuickBooks Online, it's a little different. It's not that clear of uh, where to go. When you hit new, it only gives you credit card credit. I don't see any credit card uh, charges or enter credit card like the desktop. So in QuickBooks Online, you have to enter it as an expense. Essentially, that's what it is. Um, a credit card charge is an expense to your credit card. So you enter the payee, you select which card the transaction is going to, the date, um, the count, and the amount, and you click save. To enter a credit card credit, you go back into new and you hit credit card credit. You cannot enter credit card charges through a check. It won't let you, QuickBooks will not let you, that's only for bank accounts. You can also enter charges through the chart of accounts. So let me close this. And if you go into the register, you can select add credit card expense. And it looks like the desktop where you can enter the date, the payee, a memo, a charge, and the account. And that's how you can enter credit cards in QuickBooks Online. I hope that this video has helped you and please don't forget to subscribe for more how-tos, tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you on the next one.